so I'm just heading over to do some hill sprints on a hill um, just over that way somewhere but I need my trail shoes because um, it is a pretty brutal hill. So we've just warmed up by uh, jogging up here. Now we're going to be doing some hill sprints, starting off going up this one over here. Then if we're feeling like it, going over to that big one in the background, that's going to be really difficult. Probably more of like a hill climb by that point. Well, let's go. an absolute killer. My heart rate got up like 190 ish during some of those sprints. So what I'm gonna do is gonna do this one. It's gonna be more of a hill climb because it's like twice as steep as that one. Then we're gonna call it a day. It's getting dark. Alright, let's go. Oh my legs. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Alright, let's get this another two times. You haven't strapped in, brother. So we've got some other projects coming up where we are going to be doing more documentary style filming as we actually move forward. Anyway, hill sprint. Why would anyone want to go through the absolute agony of sprinting up a hill multiple times? <clears throat> Let's talk about that one then. So number one is going to be working on your anaerobic uh, threshold. So basically, that's your ability to uh, perform with low oxygen levels, close to zero basically. So uh, without synthesizing oxygen uh, to make the energy. Um, so yeah, doing sprints up a hill, you're obviously doing it for a very short amount of time and you're putting a large amount of power output uh, in order to actually get up that hill. So yeah, you're gonna be training your lactic acid threshold. The second reason is uh, safety. So if you're someone who uh, lifts a lot of weights, your muscles are gonna be really strong and really powerful. If you were to go and do some sprints, say on level ground, there's a chance that you could overstretch and actually tear or pull a hamstring as you're actually sprinting. But um, if you're going up a hill, obviously because of the slope, it's gonna be a much smaller step there for you. Uh, it's gonna be less of a stretch on your hamstring because it's a smaller step, basically. So safety is number two. Number three is mental toughness slash mental resilience. So just the act of standing at the bottom of the hill, a really steep hill in this case, and then just digging deep into yourself and then sprinting up the hill and then uh, going back down and doing it again and again and again. Um, yeah, you're just gonna start to build up that mental toughness, that mental resilience to just keep pushing through and keep pushing further forwards. The next point is gonna obviously be speed and power. So because you're obviously sprinting straight up a hill, you're putting a lot of power out straight away really, really quickly. So you're going to build up your fast twitch muscle fibers um, in order to actually get off that line faster, 
um, start moving. This rain is absolutely horrible uh, in order to get moving faster, which means it's also going to transfer over into things like your squats. Climbing stairs is going to be easier. Squatting heavier, deadlifts, all of those sorts of things, that power output from doing the hill sprints is going to transfer over into that. So it's also very functional in terms of um, making you be able to sprint faster, jump higher, um, climb stairs more easily, everything is just really good functional exercise to do. The other thing is because of the area that I was doing it in, it was quite an advanced area because the ground was quite uneven. Um, <clears throat> basically what that means is you're also working your balance, agility, coordination, kind of working your foot placement. So not only is it a mental workout in terms of building more mental toughness as we went over earlier, it's also a mental workout in terms of um, actually your ability to know, okay, I'm gonna put my foot down here, better uh, ability to understand exactly where your body is in 3D space so that you don't end up injuring yourself or something like that. But as I was saying, that is quite an advanced sort of location. I'd recommend finding somewhere where it's pretty level and pretty, um, by level I mean like smooth ground for doing your hill sprints. That way uh, you're less likely to end up twisting an ankle or something. And then maybe if you're wanting to, then build up to doing it on more uneven ground and stuff. Cool, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like it, obviously, thumbs it down. It'll make me cry, but you know, you have to break your heart occasionally. Anyway, if you have any questions fitness related, be sure to uh, drop them down below in the comment section. And uh, if you like videos on fitness, uh, all of that sort of stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We have videos coming out every single week on different fitness related topics. So I will see you next time. Bye.